What's up, sinners? How's it going? How's it been? It's been a long time since uh, I've been in front of the camera like this. And uh, I want to thank you for your prayers. Um, I remember uh, the last video I made talking to you guys. I was asking for you guys to pray for me. Um, because I wanted to... Well, one, because my daughter was uh, was still pending in the womb. She's born now. Um, and also because I was practicing preaching and um, working with a really smart pastor to uh, learn how to do expository preaching and um, just overall, you know, faith-wise and, you know, my life, the way it was going. Things have been going incredible. <laughs> Since then, um, I've been learning how to preach more in depth and um, I've been given opportunities to preach uh, for the junior hires, the middle schoolers. I've had an opportunity to preach with uh, what our our youth group is called The Gathering, and I preach for those guys, they're uh, college-aged people. So awesome. So awesome. A wonderful opportunity for me. And then um, I also had a chance to preach for uh, our community group, Transformation, which is uh, all ages, families, you know, um, much older, wiser um, adults than me. And um, <laughs> that went well, too. So um, I want to thank you guys so much because um, I know like a lot of you guys did pray for me. And uh, even if you didn't, <laughs> I know a lot of my church family prayed for me, too. And it's been incredible. Um, something else that's also happened. I started making these uh, gospel story videos because um, I was stuck at home, I mentioned in some of my previous videos. But... Um, we came to a point to where uh, me and uh, Erica, my wife, we came to an agreement that um, I should be sharing the gospel. Like, yeah, it is a commandment. As it says in, uh, in the book of Matthew, in the Great Commission, it says, um, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. And um, so we decided it's important. Let's go share the gospel. And we decided Monday nights. And... I decided that um, it would be a good idea to grab everyone that I can, you know. I haven't had too much of a chance to connect with the gathering or with the young adults in the church. So I invited as many as I could, and we started to create this group, Monday nights, evangelism nights. And we would go out to the, to the city of Anchorage. First we would come together to pray, and we would just go out to as, anywhere we can, and we would share the gospel with everyone we can. And it's been incredible. It's been such a blessing. And I, I love it so much. We're still going. We're still keeping it going. It's been, it's been months since we started this. And it's been going so well. And um, I want to thank you guys for your prayers. And um, also, because of um, that experience and that commitment to doing it once a week and doing it so intentionally, I have a lot of stories now. I have a lot, a lot of stories, <laughs> and I can't wait to share as many as I can with you, because um, I, I truly believe that sharing the gospel is super important. Um, recently, we've been, uh, well, actually, since the beginning of the evangelism group, we have been using one portion of scripture to... Uh, inspire us and to keep pushing us on and it's written in uh, Romans chapter 10 verses 14 through 15 I'm gonna go ahead and share it with you guys for anyone else who's uh, maybe looking to evangelize one day Romans 10 verse 14 how then will they call on him who they have not believed and how are they to believe in him who they have not heard and how are they to hear without someone preaching? Verse 15. And how are they to preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. So, it's pretty clear. How are they to believe? How are the people, the unconverted, the unbelieving, how are they to believe in Jesus if they've never heard of him? And how are they going to be told unless someone is sent out to go preach to them. And then at the end is a, is a beautiful portion of scripture that's pulled out of, a, I believe, in the book of Psalms. It says, How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the good news. 
I remember uh, sharing this with the with the guys after the first time we went out to go share the gospel, and uh, they 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 said they all got chills, and it's something that will give you chills. My gosh, you know, because you're doing this really great work for the Lord. I mean, as a result, he says your feet are beautiful. <laughs> Not like your literal feet, but the fact that it's beautiful, the, f the fact that you would go out and preach the news of salvation to someone. How precious is that act? It's incredible. But anyways, um, I have a lot of stories to share with you guys, and I can't wait to continue sharing stories with you guys. I have this little pocket every morning where uh, I have nothing to do, so might as well make some videos, right? I know you guys have probably seen uh, my other videos with uh, my little skateboard, fingerboard, uh, snow skating, and eventually skateboarding. But I love making this kind of content. <laughs> I think it'll be good for me for for uh, when I'm an old man one day. <laughs> I can look back and reflect on these videos and man, look at myself and think, uh, why, why the heck did I wear those glasses? <laughs> Well, hey, it's uh, good to see you guys again, and um, I hope uh, I hope things have been well for you. I will continue to pray for you, and um, I love you guys. God loves you guys too. Let's have a great day. Bye.